助けてくれ。わしの学校を、この壁空高校を。わかりました。ご希望通り、特別生活指導員の一人をお宅に派遣しましょう。では。<laughs> so there are only two episodes of Angel Den Setsu, and those episodes cover from manga chapter one to chapter six. So I'll be starting with chapter seven, that is Boil with Rage.、Uh, in the chapter seven, we have.、Uh, Three main characters, and one of them is Takeshi, as we know from first episode, who b e c o m e Kitano's friend. Second is Kurodo, that is the last guardian of Hikaku's school, and、uh, two of、uh, his partners. I'll be calling them Kurodo team. Then there is a new teacher who was sent by the board to handle delinquents,、uh, whose name is Iri. Then there is Katayama, who is a new opponent here. Then there is a girl, Koiso Ryoko. This is the same girl that we saw at the end of the second episode, Koiso Ryoko. Then there is our star, Kitano. So it's just a regular day in Kitano's life, and it starts in his washroom. He was trying to gel his hair. As his hair look, mostly looks spiky, so he has to use the gel on his hair every single day、uh, to look more normal, otherwise, his dangerous face will look even more dangerous. So, there is no gel, and、uh, he just、uh, managed to cover his hairs by a little bit portion of gel that is left in the bottle. Then, he started walking towards school with an even more scary face. As he was trying to hold his hair, he d o n t want his hair to go all spike up. But people around them are talking about Kitano that this guy beat up Hakun's Kojima, the boxer guy, and、uh, they were thinking that if they beat Kitano, they're gonna be famous in an instant. So there are three guys, they stopped Kitano. And asked him, You are Kitano Sirechi from Hikaku, that they want to talk with him for a minute. Kitano was thinking, that Who are these guys? I don't want to waste too much of my time today. Then the guys were thinking, Damn, this guy looks freaky, so scary. And he said, His two partners, let's go and don't get scared. Let's, let's fight with this guy. Then Kitano was thinking, They want me to say something, but if I open my mouth, my hair will stand up. Then the guy in front of Kitano came to him saying, What the fuck is your problem? And one of Kitano's hair <laughs> raised up. And the guy was all freaked out, and Kitano started saying, He ya, as in second episode. So then Kitano was saying sorry to them that he scared them, but all around people are looking at them and getting scared. And they were saying that only Kitano could drive away the enemies just by screaming. It's been a week since Kitano defeated Kojima, and there's a rumor about Kitano everywhere. Then finally, this rumor reached the principal of his school. So he was talking with one of、uh, his teachers, who is also a homeroom teacher of Kitano's. He was saying that it was a complete victory. Kitano sent two of, 200 of them to hospital. So Kitano. Took 250 people from Hakun High School all by himself, and some of them even have fractures and missing limbs. Then his homeroom teacher said, But that's that's not possible, no human can do that. And the principal said, Exactly, he's not human, he's a demon. So、uh, Kitano's homeroom teacher said, But I'm in charge of Kitano, I don't think so, he's as awful as you say. And the principal said, You are young. One.、Uh, the younger one is, the less cultivated are his eyes. When you have lived life as long as mine, your eyes become foolproof. You can see the true essence of any man. It may be sorrowful, but when my intuition told me that he was the most evil madman of the century, I knew he was a great and terrible villain. And Kitano's homeroom teacher was thinking that what you only looked 
at him once. So the principal said he's clever. He don't make enemies in this school as I'm gonna suspend him. That's why he go to other school to fight people. And he was talking to himself shouting about Kitanu that Kitano Sirichuida, dead full terrifying architect of evil. Then there's a knock on the door saying pardon me. There's this new guy, a new teacher. Principal welcomed him saying Iri Sensei. Then Kitano's homeroom teacher asked him the, about the guy that is he a new teacher. Then the principal said that he came from request from my request to the board of education. And this guy is a guidance counselor visiting various schools for a short period of time and his area of expertise is rehabilitation of delinquent. Kitano's teacher was saying rehabilitation you mean he was all shocked up but uh, mm, Iris said no need to worry I was a rough one too before I before I found this job I I have been through many fights. I have dealt more problem students than you can count. Then the teacher was looking at him all shocked. And the principal said, well, that sounds wonderful. Good luck to you. Kitano principal was saying, I leave the methods up to you. Whatever you feel necessary to use force or anything. Then the Irie guy smiled at him saying, allow me to handle it, sir. I have this Kitano fella corrected and straightened out enough. So in Kitano's classroom, everyone is silent as always and the guys want to talk about Kitano. They were only thinking that Kitano is really scary. He even beat up the punks at Hakun. They said one or two dead bodies were made to look it like an accident. His traffic power snaps is not to be trailed with but even still then they looked at Kitano's face which is more scary as he's trying to hold up his hair and so they were thinking even still he's still in a bad mood <laughs> then Kitano st uh, stand up by using force through his hands on the desk and he was thinking that my hire are gonna stand up so I need to go to washroom then on the hallway there's this IRA guy walking so he was thinking that first he need to know who is Kitano, what type of guy he is. Then he saw Takeshi on his way. Takeshi was staring at this new teacher. Then they crossed each other and the teacher thought that was not a normal gaze. I think that is a delinquent. Then Takeshi went to the classroom. He saw Kitano was not here, but his bag was there. So the guy started looking at him from the outside and he saw it was the same classroom as the principal told him for Kitano so he saw yes my eyes are right it was that Kitano guy then Kitano was coming from the washroom using water on his hair to make them lay down and the guy Airi was talking right in front of classroom while looking at uh, Takeshi he was saying look at that ugly mug got there surprised to see one as bad as you here and Kitano also started looking through the door at Takeshi and the Airi didn't notice Kitano he was still thinking that spiked bleached hair no eyebrows looks like a goddamn super saiyajin he looks strong but not too smart so the teacher was observing Takeshi thinking that it was Kitano then Katano was looking at this guy and thinking, what's up with this teacher? Looks like he wants something from Takeshi. Uh, he could just call his name and get it over with it. Then Takeshi saw Kitano right outside the class and started running towards him. The IRA guy thought that he spotted me, he's coming towards me. What should I do? Challenge him right here? Then Takeshi went close to those two guys and said good morning. It was he was wishing good morning to Katano, but the Airi guy thought that he was wishing good morning to me. So Takeshi said to Katano, the class will begin soon. What are you doing over here? Please stop squatting over here and stand up straight. I have great respect for you. And the Airi guy was thinking that uh, Takeshi was saying all this to him. So he listened respect and started life laughing. So he got all this proud feeling in him and uh, laughing in his proud he went to Takeshi saying I see that's great 
Yes, I used to be a fighting rascal like yourself years ago. I never guessed you have known that. Oh yes, there was a time when people called me the Tiger of Hikaku. I was born on the year of the tiger, you see. If you ever have problems, just ask me. And Takeshi was thinking, what's up with this guy? Actually, the principal thought that uh, Takeshi know him from his old days as a delinquent. That's why Takeshi got scared and came to him saying that he respect him. So this guy was walking the hallway saying this job was easy, just another pin for my metal metal jacket. Then he saw Kitano's homeroom teacher. Oh, Shirashi Sensei. What happened with Kitano-kun? Oh yeah, he was a very nice guy. He told me that he respected me for years. So I promised him to help with his any of his problem. Then his homeroom teacher said, Then Kitano is really a uh, delinquent. Iri said, Yes, but everything is solved now. And then Kitano's homeroom teacher said, But every other teacher is scared of Kitano. Even if he respects you, it doesn't change the situation. So the Iri guy said that I understand it. I'll talk with him and... Uh, try to make him understand. So after school, Kitano was still holding a, up his hair and Takeshi was looking at him saying that, oh, Kitano saw looks commanding today. He's gained dignity since defeating Kojima, that power he emits. And Kitano was thinking that somehow he managed to hold his hair to the end of the school. So it's better to just go straight home today, no detours. Then there is a call for Kitano on the door. Is Kitano Kun here? Kitano looked at the guy and the guy was little freaked out. But he said, Iris Sensei wants you to come to the counseling room. Kitano then went to the counseling room. Iris was sitting there with his coffee. And he was thinking it was a piece of cake to him to get him turned back into a normal member of society. Too easy, he said, he respect me, I'm sure he will do anything I say. Then there's a knock on the door saying, hello, this is Kitano. I looked at him, oh good, looked at Kitano's face, is really scary and he said, what is it? I got all freaked out and he was trying to think but the, the shocking emotion was still on his face and he was not able to move. He was saying, who the hell are you? What are you trying to do to me? And Kitano was thinking, you just call for me. What are you saying? And Kitano was thinking that if he wants to talk to me, I wish he hurry it up. It feels like my hair will stand up if I open my mouth. Kitano was just thinking all this as he was not able to talk because of his hair. So this Iri guy was thinking, oh, this is the real Kitano. He's certainly higher than that blonde kid on the danger scale. What a terrifying face. This is the first time I've seen anything like it. And Kitano was thinking, hurry up, tell me what you want. And the teacher was the power he's emitting. The, is he angry at me calling him like this? Then the teacher get all ready to fight. All right then, I'll take you anytime you want. Kitano was still confused at what this guy was saying. And the teacher said, don't assume I'm too afraid to strike with that face of yours. I know anyone who thinks like this is a weak in a fight. I have permission from the principal. He doesn't have a damn problem with me beating crap out of you. And Kitano was saying that he, thinking that his hair are gonna go all up. Kitano's some hairs raised up and he started with a hickey. The Iri guy freaked out. What's with him? His hair sticking straight up, just like I said. He's gonna fight me ever since he came here, this little punk. He was thinking that Kitano was getting ready for the fight. So he get ready with a punch and threw a punch at Kitano's face. And Kitano's nose started bleeding, but his hair, he was not able to hold his hair anymore. His hair got all spiked up and he freaked Irie even more. He was just standing there with his punch out, not able to do anything. He was just shouting, monster, demon. And Kitano was thinking, oh no, this is too embarrassing. I wish he don't call anybody out here. If somebody came, it will be too embarrassing if they saw Kitano like this. So he tried to stop 
Iri sensei but Iri got even more frog freaked out that he's gonna die today <laughs> so they were moving backwards as Iri was trying to get away from Kitano then Iri got smashed into the window and it breaks the window and get out of there so the real situation was different but 10 people who saw it was thinking that Kitano beat up that guy and throw him out the window. So next day, uh, Iri left the school and uh, principal's hopes to expel Kitano was all crushed. So once again, no one knew the whole truth. Only the rumor that Kitano-kun is fearsome spread throughout the school. And the principal was thinking to be able to seal Iri's sense of mouth in fear. Kitano-kun is fearsome indeed. And this is the end of chapter 7.